Assalamu alaikum everyone. I hope you are doing well. I thought it would be helpful to share a roadmap of what I have planned to cover this presentation. will be divided into two sections. In the first section, we will talk about the parasitic protozoa causing diseases in animals. And the second part would consist on parasitic protozoa causing disease in uh, humans. So here's my topic. Parasitic protozoa causing diseases in humans and animals. Parasitic protozoa of human, which are Tinea solium, Echinococcus granulosus, and Ascaris lumbricoids. Parasitic protozoa of animals, which are Fasciolopsis busci, Opisthorchis sinensis, and Paragonimus westermanni. Then we talk about the Fasciolopsis busci. Actually, what is Fasciolopsis busci? It is a parasite of animal, largest intestine fluke. It causes diseases in snails and aquatic plants. It is the largest intestine fluke of man, dog, and pig. It is common in India and China. Then we talk about the life cycle of Fasciolopsis busci, which consists of the immature eggs that are discharged into the intestine and stool. Eggs become embryonated in water. Then eggs release Miracidia, which invade a suitable snail intermediate host in the snail. The parasite undergoes several development stages, which are the sporocyst, radia, and cercaria. Then we talk about the infestation of Fasciolopsis busci in intestine. It causes erosion in the digestive tract lining, resulting in the bleeding and pain in the intestine and leads to vomiting and diarrhea. Then we talk about the Paragonimus vastimani. It is common lung fluke, parasitizing carnivorous mammals, including man, producing Paragonimiasis. It is a serious parasite of man in China, Japan, Korea, New Guinea, and Philippines. The adult lung fluke is 8 to 20 mm long and 4 to 6 mm in diameter. Then we talk about the life cycle of Paragonimus vastimani, which consists of the following steps. An embryotic eggs are passed in the sputum of a human or feline. Two weeks later, Miracidia develop in the eggs and hatches. The Miracidia penetrates its first intermediate host snail. Within the snail mother, sporocysts form and produce many other radia, which subsequently produce many daughter radia which shed crawling cercaria into fresh water. The crawling cercaria pen penetrate freshwater crabs and insist in its muscles, becoming metacercaria. Humans and felines then eat the infective crabs raw. Once eaten, the metacercaria exists and penetrates the gut, diaphragm, and lung, where it becomes an adult worm. Infestation of para Paragonimus westermanni in dog's lung. Here we can see it causes infection in the lungs and also causes cough and sputum with blood in chronic conditions. It leads to the anemia, fever, and breathing problems. Then we talk about the Opisthorchis sinensis. As we can see here, there is a ventral sac of area and uterus. It also contains the ovary mahalis gland. Then we talk about the Opisthorchis sinensis. Actually, what it is. Opisthorchid sinensis include freshwater habitats with stagnant or slow moving waters, ponds, rivers, aquacultures, swamps, rice fields. Then we talk about the life cycle of Opisthorchid sinensis, which consists of the, the adult flukes deposit fully developed eggs. After ingestion by a su suitable snail, the eggs release Miracidia, which undergo in the snail several development stages the sporocyst stage, the radia development, and the cercaria stage. Then we talk about the diseases caused by the Opisthorchis sinensis. So the diseases are while normally asymptomatic, most pathological manifestations result from inflammation and the intermittent obstruction of the biliary ducts. The acute phase consists of abdominal pain with associated nausea and diarrhea. Long-standing infection consists of fatigue, abdominal discomfort, anorexia, weight loss, diarrhea, and dryness. The pathology of long-standing infections consists of bile stasis, obstruction, bacterial infections, inflammation, and hyperplasia. Development of calonagical sermia is then we talk about the tinea solium. Tinea solium, tinea cysts, is acquired by humans through the ingestion of parasite larval cysts in undercooked and infected pork. Human tapeworm carries excrete tapeworm eggs in their feces and contaminate the environment when they 
defecate in open areas. Humans can also become infected with tinea solium. So, we talk about the life cycle of tinea solium. The adults produce proglotids which get matured. They become gravid, detached from the tapeworm, migrate to the anus or are or past in the stools approximately 6 per day. Tinea saginata adults usually have 1000 to 2000 proglotids. Then we talk about the diseases caused by the tinea solium. And the diseases are cysticercosis is a parasitic disease caused by inge ingesting the eggs of the ta pork tapeworm tinea solium. Human tapeworm infection teniasis occur after ingesting raw or undercooked pork and cysticercosis. Then we talk about the Ascaris lumbricoids. Ascaris lumbricoids is characterized by its great size. Males are 2 to 4 mm in diameter and 15 to 31 cm long. The male's posterior end is curved ventrally and has a blunty pointed tail. Females are 3 to 6 mm wide and 20 to 49 cm long. Then we talk about the life cycle of Ascaris lumbricoids, which consists of merely of Adult worms live in the lumen of the small intestine. A female may produce up to 240,000 eggs per day, which are passed with the feces. Fertile eggs embryonate and become infected after 18 to 18 days to several weeks, depending on the environmental conditions, optimum moist worm shaded soil. Then we talk about the diseases caused by the Ascaris lumbricoids. Which are most cases of ascariasis are mild and don't cause major problems. However, heavy infestation can spread to other parts of the body and lead to dangerous complications, including intestinal blockage. Intestinal blockage occur when a mass of worms block your intestine, causing severe pain and vomiting. Then we talk about the echinococcus granulosus. Echinococcus granulosus, also called the hydrate worm, hyper tape worm, or dog tape worm. It is a cyclophilid cestor that dwells in the small intestine of candids as an adult but which has important intermediate hosts such as livestock and humus where it causes cystic echinococcus also known as hydrated diseases. The adult tapeworm ranges in length from 3 mm to 6 mm and has three proglotids. Then we talk about the life cycle of E. granulosus or echinococcus granulosus which consists of the after ingestion, the protosolysis is evaginate producing protoscolexis. The scolexis of the organisms attached to the intestine of the definite host and develop into adults in 32 to 80 days. The life cycle then conti continues in humans. Humans can become infected if they ingest substances infected with echinococcus eggs. Diseases caused by Echinococcus granulosus. Hydrated disease, also known as hydratidiosis or echinococcus, is a potentially serious, sometimes fatal condition caused by cysts containing the larva stages of the echinococcus granulosus, tapeworm, or dog tapeworm. Thanks for watching, anxiously waiting for your kind feedback. Thank you.